to battle, packmates! And welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command, Orion Pirates Plus Mod. I am Lieutenant Commander Tyrek of the Heavy Cruiser Blood Spiller as we continue our campaign against the Mirax Star League. And the last time we left off with the uh, Starbase and Planet at 6-3 being completely neutral. Unfortunately, we had run out of time in the episode and we didn't want to run too long because we've decided we're trying to keep this around 20 minutes-ish. Yeah, I know, we go over it all the time. But I didn't want to go in through another 10-minute long mission of either trying to capture the planet or destroy a shipyard or whatever it was. So uh, here we do, pick off right back here, and we're going to hop right back on top of this and try and take this mission. It will be a shipyard assault, which I think was one of the options from the other day. So, uh, yeah, basically, no real time lost. Hit that red alert. Increase that speed. Immediately begin work on a wild whistle. You never know what kind of enemy you're going to face. Except we do. It's an enemy frigate. And a light cruiser. Wait, what? I am pressing the Y key, so... Oh, I thought for a second this was looking behind us. So a light cruiser and a frigate. Uh, we are currently escorted by the Star Claw, which is a light frigate, and the Pouncer, which appears to be a cruiser. Is it a light or a heavy? I wasn't actually paying attention. Uh, fleet screen. Oh, it's a destro war destroyer leader. And it looks like we're fighting a light cruiser, a heavy cruiser, and a frigate. So basically, everybody's matched up against somebody who's of their weight class. So we are prepping the Wild Weasel. We're going to make sure that we kick on that forward shield reinforcement. We will need it. We're going to probably crash into this frigate with as much power as we can manage. If we can bang him hard enough, we can, uh, well, basically kill him before his friends can show up. Now this, uh, this is a carrier. So this will actually be pretty nasty to deal with. So let's try and kick in the engines a little bit and get in there before either of these vessels can... Ooh, this is also... This is an escort carrier. So we've got two carriers. A light carrier and an escort carrier. So let's see if we can't knock out this frigate before any real war can be joined. Decoy shuttle, Decoy shuttle is ready. We'll prep another one just in case. Uh, these will mostly be equipped with light fighters, but well, you can't discount the, uh, the missile launchers on the vessel alone. So we're going to select our ESG, make sure that we get a good intercept course, smash on into him. He does have A-type launchers. Those are short, ranch, short, short rack launchers, so they only have so many... Uh, shots inside of them, and it's not a whole lot. Kick on the uh, expanding sphere generator. Make sure that we get a good in intercept course here. So it's kicked on. Come on, make sure you close. We've shot down all the missiles, and we got good hits on them. Lay into them with all the other weapons, and we got them. Excellent. So let's slow way down. Come over and target this guy. We will have no weapons ready for this, so we'll set the disruptors to normal. We're going to need them at that, and we're going to set our... Uh, our expanding sphere generator out to a range of one for more anti-fighter operations. Are there more than one group on top of there? No, I'm seeing just one, maybe two over here. Okay, so we've got another one that just showed up off the port side. You are equipped with uh, only two missile launchers. Okay, that actually makes me feel much more confident in what's going on. Are those Vizslas coming in for us? Uh, no, they're not. They appear to be very, very confused. All up in select. We're lined up nice and ready. Uh, crap. Disruptors. Phasers. And the ESG should be able to kick on very momentarily. Let's make sure we get to a range to zero. Because we're on top of somebody. Uh, we may have to extend it. Come on, hit it, hit it. Yes, just in time. Managed to get through. Broke through his stern shields. Only damaged his front shields. He is doing the most annoying tactic in the universe. And we'll continue our starboard turn. We do have two decoy shuttles ready. We're not going to prep a third. We don't need it. Uh, first of all, he can't achieve saturation, quite frankly. Our stern shields are down. That's not good. Reinforce all shields. Disruptor select. They'll come online first. Um, I was hoping I'd have a shot through that. Unfortunately, we will not. Come on through. Yeah, we got shots right on through. I think... The, was that 44 damage? Really? Okay, so we managed to get some nice shots in through that hole that he provided for us. Uh, I am seeing a group of fighters coming in. It is a full group of fighters, but it doesn't look like it's much interested in actually engaging us. Let's pick up a little bit of speed. I know he's probably going to transport things onto us. But I do want to hit him with the ESG. If we extended it out to a further range, we'd be able to hit more things. Oh, come on. Any weapon. Any weapon you've got. There we go. So disruptors would be nice to have. Unfortunately, we don't have any right now. Uh, are we closing at a speed fast enough? Yeah, the ESG is going to come online. Uh, kick the ESG out to a range of one. And kick it on. All up and select. We're going to bash on through after we knock out of, out of shield with the, ES with the ESG. Good hits on that. One of our attacker ships is destroyed. That's not good. Uh, we are now outnumbered. Oh, but No, we're actually equal to numbers. But if I can kill this carrier, we will be in much better shape than uh, it appears. So let's slow down. Let's start to slow down because I wanted to deal some more damage. 
Uh, we'll also kick the ESG back down to a range of zero. If this comes on and we're still wrapped up tight like this, uh, things gonna die. We've got our shield reinforcements set to 360. And that's point blank range missile fire. Our uh, point defense system did come online. And then we shot them down. Continue to fire into them as close as you possibly can. We're going to stick in right on top of them, make sure that we can cause as much damage as possible. Oh, crap. We've got fighters coming in. And they did knock out our stern shield. So we're kicking out the ESG. This ought to do some nice damage if those fighters aren't docking. And we took out the fighters. Good. And then we hit the, uh, the carrier itself. Unfortunately, we don't have any weapons online at this point. I'm going to slow all the way down. So all the way down so that we're right in front of him when our phasers come online for a good shot. Oh, nope, he still he has a shield in the way. There we go. Took that out. Now we've got a single escort carrier left to get to, so let's increase our speed. Uh, I think those are Hydran Stardocks, and if so, yes. Uh, looks like our own Pouncer is still at full shields. Taking a little bit of light long-range damage. He's being chased by some fighters. But let's get back into this fight, so we'll accelerate back up to a speed of about 9. Our uh, two decoys are still ready to go, so we're not going to prepare anymore. And shield reinforcement is at 360. We're going to kick this up to the forward shield only, and we're going to hit something hard. We've got the ESG coming. It'll be at full charge, and uh, both generators are almost on. So course is selected. And we're going to see if we can't intercept this guy. Let's increase our speed. We're going to need it. And keep an eye on these fighters. If we shoot him down, he won't have them. It's tempting to go after him. It really is. Uh, we may end up just using the ESG to try and shoot him down. So the Prowser has met, took out, taken out one of the fighter groups. And the other one is still rolling hard. He's fired at the Prowser. The Prowser is doing a speed of 23. He has no worries whatsoever about being shot at by those missiles. Missiles can't catch him. He did kick on the ESG, though, just in case. Two of them. So he is trying to defend himself. But nope, he managed to ram both of those right into the, uh, the Skin of Sea. Interesting name. And it would be really funny if he could drag those missiles into the skin of sea. I think that'd be hilarious. So we are lined up, and we can pick up a little bit more speed. Uh, do we want to go for the Vizslas? It's only one, so he's not particularly hitting all that hard. It's basically an additional phaser three, maybe two. Pouncer taking a little bit of extra damage now. That's not great. Let's uh, try and get in here and keep him protected. Pouncer is still going fast enough to avoid this. We'll cut in and shoot it down for him. We have the Phaser 3s ready for it, so we may as well take the free shot. And... Okay, so the fighters are down. All up and select. Kick it off. And the ESG about to kick on and smash right into him. Two really nice hits right on top of him. We'll slow down a little bit and come around. Our stern shields, I think, are down. Oh, pick up speed. Pick up the speed and two of these. So we've now got enough... Uh, enough... Yeah. So we only needed the one. So we'll cut it down to one. Slow down quite a bit as we come back around. It looks like we've taken out most of his systems. And he's only got a single shield that's uh, in any decent shape at this point. So we're lined up on him. He is taking advantage of that uh, shield position on us. But we will knife right through it and then lance him down. Target destroyed. Excellent. So let's set our shield reinforcement. It is set to forward shield only. And we'll go in after those final targets. We have three shipyards to wipe out after we've managed to take out all three of the enemy targets. Uh, the Pouncer is still in mostly good shape. He was taking some hits through the armor, but it looks like he's fully repaired everything. And we're looking at an HFRD. H tells us Hydran, but that might be wrong. So let's find out exactly what we're dealing with with a probe here. And yeah, it's a Hydran. It's got four Gatling phasers instead of phaser threes. So as long as we stay outside of a range of three, we don't care. Uh, that does mean we won't be able to use the ESG all that well. But... Eh, we might be able to handle it anyway. Yeah, we should be able to handle this. Because if we go to a range of 4.001, uh, we might be able to hit him with overloaded disruptors and bust through his defenses. That's my plan. That's what I'm going to be sticking to. ESG reinforcement is a full power. And we'll also kick on a single ESG just to see if we can hit it from that range of 4. These are big targets. They may be like considered to be at a longer range than that. We'll find out. How much power are we putting in that forward shield? Ten points of power. That's not a problem at all. Let's start to slow down, make sure we get in the exact right range for this. Because I do not want to have to, uh, well, die. Because each of these is essentially four phaser threes. So 16 phaser threes is a lot of damage. 
especially at the range that they have to fire at. So we'll make sure that we slow down and get right at the proper range. So we'll stay just outside of a range of three so that he can't actually hurt us. Continue to slow down. We don't want to we don't want to go too fast. And we're kind of checking to see if it is slow down. We're at a speed of one. And I'm happy right... Ah, oh crap, we're too close. All up and select. Engage with all weaponry. And the ESG was just enough to punch through it. So we do have enough strength to actually get through him. And as long as we stay here and don't move, he can't, uh, he can't stop us. So we're knocking out his shields one by one. He can keep turning all he likes, but he's going to take the damage anyway. Yeah, and 30 damage, even from this range, is what our ESG will deal into him. So continue to fire away. We will eventually break him to pieces. Uh, we do have to bust through this shield now, which is going to be somewhat annoying. But I think we are going to have all weapons ready for it. All weapons select. And ESG kicks on. Another additional 30 damage. Taking out the uh, target slowly but surely. And we'll have another big disruptor blast to fire in. I don't think he has enough reinforcement to actually stop us from hurting him. So, yeah, he's just going to rotate until he dies. Wait for the weapons to charge back up. And target destroyed. Alright, set course for uh, this shipyard. We'll stay at maximum speed, because why not? Didn't even need to go to overload the disruptors. Oh, it looks like Pouncer is going after this one, so we'll stick with the Pouncer. Uh, that way we can maximize our efforts here. And disruptors. Hmm, long range blinking fire. He's obviously defending his shields against us, so that's not actually going to cause any damage. Wow, is he so close that the asteroid is actually spinning through him? That's nasty. Because, uh, normally most ships would explode from that. Steadily continue to just blast away with disruptors. It's one of the fun weapons in this game that just sort of blasts a whole ton of shots. So steadily get in to a point-blank range of 2.99. That's the exact range that we can maintain, it seems. Oh, he was, uh, not fully shielding against us. One of those shields is down now. And we're going to slow down to a minimum speed and keep a close eye on this to make sure that we don't actually close within range of those phase of threes, because look at what he did to the bouncer. Just right off the bat, he cut right through him like a hot knife through butter. Select setting four. That way we're firing our only point-blank weapons. And now we'll close steadily but surely and get in to close enough that we can hurt him, but not close enough that he can hurt us. And I'll stop. Kick on the ESG. Oh, we are actually in point-blank range. But it didn't matter. Yes, I'm being a little bit gun-shy about this, because in the Gorn campaign, we actually got... We actually had defeated a fairly decent enemy defensive force, and then we got cocky when we fought the Stardox, and it took so much damage that we weren't actually able to destroy the, the Stardox themselves. So I am playing this especially gun-shy, because the last thing I want is to have beaten this and then have to give up on the last Stardock. That would just be too, way too painful to have to deal with again. Because it was pretty painful to have to deal with. <laughs> like, you had wiped out two enemy heavy cruisers and defeated the enemy while you were outnumbered, and then you were stopped by the Stardox, which you constantly laugh at and mock. So we're going to close in reasonably close. we got to stay outside of our range so he can't hit us with them phaser Gs. Long range fire going out. Slow down, slow down. Make sure that we only get in as close as we need to and not close enough to uh, allow him to hurt us back. Start to slow down. Range of seven, six. And we need to stay outside of that range of three, otherwise bad stuff happens. So we'll continue to blast away with the disruptors. Not causing enough damage to punch through just yet. All weapons select. Nope, just select. Just selecting four. And we're going to blast through these shields, hopefully. So we do punch through one of his shields. And now we got to slowly but surely get to point-blank range here. A little bit more. There. Oh, crap. We're in range. Just open up with everything. We've got to bust through it. So 2.995, I think, is the range on those phase of threes. We've got 7.5 points of energy going to them forward shields, and it does cut through. So we got to hurry through this. we got to finish them off before he actually can stop us. So kick in the expanding super generator. Cause as much damage as we can. Blitz through any shield that he thinks he can throw up in front of us. We're actually causing quite a bit of damage here. But he does have 
three of his phaser G's ready to shoot. He's not quite able to shoot through us, but nope, we can shoot through him. So that took a little bit longer than uh, the normal, but worth it. Definitely worth it. So the ESG, not exactly the best siege weapon out there. It's it's just too short range for that sort of work. 450 prestige, and the tile is taken. That'll serve as an excellent staging base for us. And we'll pick up another patrol, just to continue on. We have 2,485 prestige. Uh, if we keep saving up at this rate, we may be able to pick up, I don't know, a battlecruiser. Although it is pretty early for a battlecruiser to be available. Uh, we will, of course, set a wild weasel. We're going to need that. We'll increase our speed. Don't forget the shield reinforcement button, because we're going to need all the shields. Reinforce the whole group. That way we're actually prepared. No enemy in target, in range, and we also are not escorted by anybody. So we drift through the infinite of space. Something will show up right around here in just a few seconds, I'm sure of it. Or not, we are actually going pretty slow. The acceleration on this boat is not really great. I suppose it, that should be expected. It is an early heavy cruiser. There's our target. We're only fighting off a light cruiser? I hope so. It is another one of those escort carriers. It's, an, it's a, a plus refit version. So let's uh, head in on it. He should only have, I think, two missile launchers. But he will have fighter support, which is something we will have to keep an eye on. Uh, prep another one. Ooh, this is the three-way one. Random pirate group has shown up to this battle to try and get involved in things. Hopefully we will uh, wipe these people out before they have a chance of doing anything to us. Increase the speed. The expanding sphere generator. We're going to save on a range of one. Hopefully that'll be able to take out these fighters. Slow down to normal speed. So, Vizsla, yeah, Vizsla 1s, eh, I'm estimating they'll only have normal phasers. He did fire long-range disruptor fire. Uh, I want to reply with disruptors, but he does have that defense shift. What do you got? He's got two ARACs, so he won't have a whole lot of missiles for long. We're going to do it. We're going to bust past him. Drop a mine here. Wait for the point defense system to take care of it. Blast everything into his fighters. Okay, I guess you're taking the uh, hit from the expanding sphere generator. Oh, both of them to this turn. Excellent work. Uh, another mine here. We are going to take a hit. Slow down. Get the forward shield reinforced as much as possible. We took all the hits from the fighters and didn't lose our forward shield. So that is definitely a win. No weapons right now are online. Except for that. Slow down. Let's, let's star castle it up a little bit. And target you. Our disruptors are about to come online, and you're about to expose a shield unless... You, yep, he's turning back into us. He's hard turned. All up and select. And we're going to blast at you again. Took all out but one. And we are taking fire at long range from the pirates. So I think they've decided we're winning. He has taken his fighters back, which is not great. Uh, kicked the ESG out to a range of two. want to make sure that we actually hit him. So he is at a range of two right now. Oh crap, uh, we have no point defense in that. I thought for a moment that I had some phasers ready, it was on the wrong side of the ship. So we're going to have to cross back to the other direction, exposing a weak shield and a down shield, which is not great. Slow down, bring this in, to a range of one, all up and select. Let's cut through his forward shield, and he is going to hit. take a hit from the ESG. Oh, don't tell me it's stunned right as he got, there we go, we got a hit there. Cause some nice little damage. He's firing a plasma torpedo. At who? At me. Oh god. Um. I'll stop. We are going to need a pretty fast turn here. So we did miss that. But that's at full power and we are in a nasty place here. Uh, let's go point defense system, or repair systems. Uh, I want some power restored and we're actually not down too low on things. These fighters are coming back at us. All up and select. Let's blast them and try and discourage pursuit here. A range of three is what I want to hit him with. Come on, Phaser's not killing it. And he did not manage to break us. Reverse this course. And, ooh, defensive systems. Three tractors I'm going to need. Grabbed one. Crap. Let's activate the ESG in a defensive form. So, shooting down his missiles. Slow down a little bit. We have to make sure that the missiles actually get to the shield. Shoot them all down. Okay, we took out his entire scatter pack there. Disruptors, let's see if we can't get around and actually get some shots in on that. Come on, don't turn enough. Uh, nope, looks like he's going to turn enough to be able to get our disruptors off of him. What are you armed with? You're actually quite dangerous. I'm not happy about having to fight you at all. 
Uh, please stay on just a little bit longer. It did stay on just long enough for us to get some nice shots in there. And we will try and evade this now. Uh, we're going to focus all our efforts on killing this fighter. If we can kill this fighter and leave him with no more fighters, uh, he will be much, much weaker. And if he stays focused on the weak Slayer, then we'll be able to take advantage. How? I'm not 100% sure on yet. I think we need to start laying into this uh, OCR+. Plus. So we'll come steadily around the minefield. I'm not bothered by staying at long range here. Uh, we'll cut our tractor beams down to a single one. How are you doing? He's doing a speed of 6.7. Please stay fighting him, not me. Because as long as you stay fighting him, we're good. I won't mind that. But if you come after me, I'm going to have to kill you. And I would prefer to kill him first because he's mostly intact and he has an F-type plasma torpedo. Speaking of which, uh, let's get another decoy ready to go. We are selecting disruptors. Uh, he's got a single missile launcher. That's not huge. Set this down to zero. And let's... Uh, if you come in towards me, I will kick this on. Yeah, I gotta... I have to... I have to avoid that. If we take that hit, we'll take way too much damage. So he has slowed down. Please tell me you're not going after me yet. He's still not going after me. He has been pretty savagely mauled, so there is that. He's fired his single missile. That's not a concern at all. Come on, give me engine control again. Shot down his missile. The blood sail... Oh, bold salesman. I thought it said the blood salesman. So we are kicking on the energy. Let's open him up like a can opener. Blast it away as forward shield. The ESGs are coming online. And both of them hit. A nice amount of damage caused in there. Took out one of his systems... And I think he's out of missiles, and if he's out of missiles, he's out of missiles. They're not charging them, right? Slow down, slow down! Crap! We can't take this slow, slow, a little bit more. Not quite enough. Let him get away from us. Please tell me you're not engaging me yet. I don't want to fight you yet. We're going to prep another wild weasel, just in case. And we should be able to quite easily lance through these, uh, lance through these weak shields of his. Spoke too soon, apparently. And let's get that forward shield to the reinforcement. The side ones I'm not so concerned about. Just this forward shield so we can stay on target. We've taken out this point defense system, which is kind of pointless. And stay away from stay away from the weak slayer. We don't need to fight it yet. Pick up some speed. And how long until our ESG is our ESG is at maximum charge? Get back here. You I'm gonna I'm gonna chase you down and I'm gonna kill you. Don't think I won't. We have to kill him because of his plasma torpedo. That's that's the bottom line here. And he's not... Uh, actually, no. He's got enough disruptors to be really dangerous. So let's try and give a little bit wider of a berth over here to the weak slayer. I don't really have a whole heck of a lot in terms of shields to handle him. Especially not on these stern mounts. Come back here. I'm going to kill you. You're not getting away from this. Uh, how's uh, reinforcement doing? We're still in mostly good shape. I'm coming after you. You're not getting away from this. We're going to start firing long-range disruptor fire. One, we're accurate. As you can see, all four shots hit. And two, we're going to chase him down. Uh, the Weak Slayer quite clearly not able to keep up with this fight. So he's going to try and run away until his plasma torpedo is fully charged and then drive right in on us, which we're expecting. Uh, we have prepped... Prepped? Now we've prepped our shuttles, shut off the point defense system. We don't want to waste firing systems at him. But he's not getting away. We're just going to blast away at him until he dies. Disruptors are almost online. Another four shots. Hit with about half of them. And we're going to try and stay on his stern if at all possible. But we are chasing him and we'll catch up to him. We'll stay pointing away from him. I don't want him to be able to get his plasma torpedo onto us. So we are going to maneuver in such a way to avoid that. Even if that means sort of having to uh, play the long edges. I don't think we're quite as maneuverable as he is. I really don't get the feeling that the Lyrans are especially maneuverable ships. Disruptors should be ready very shortly. And we'll have another good shot right into his stern. Let's fire the Disruptors right there. And we'll keep on pushing. All up and select. Uh, ESG out to a range of two. Fire everything, and now we're going to let the ESG do some damage. Two good shots right in there. Wiped out his F-type plasma torpedo. we got to slow down, make sure we don't get in front of him. That's important, because that F-type plasma torpedo is still there. 
come around hard. We've got two more phasers that we're going to lance into them. It's just as soon as we pass onto this stern that is completely open. Good shots in there. So we've basically taken out his most important weapon. Increase our speed again. We want to get off of him. And uh, set the radius back down to zero. Increase speed. I think we're going to lose our stern shielding if we do this. Oh, it's just the wrong side. So... We can't fire phasers? What? I'm sure we can fire phasers. Are these such... These are fairly narrow arc. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, at this point, he's down to a single phaser, too. So on, get some good disruptor shots in here. Before we come around to his front... Ugh. Not quite getting the maneuverability I want, but we did manage to take him out. So we're down to the last... The escort carrier, who is out of ammunition, out of fighters. He's still kind of dangerous. I mean, look at that disruptor complement. That's pretty serious. Pumping some uh, some energy into our forward shields. Phaser capacitor is fully charged, it would seem, so we are getting the energy back from that. Our capacitor on our ESG is also fully charged. Slow down a little bit. We should be able to smash into him with the ESG without too much of a concern. Wow, this episode's going along. <laughs> so we'll line up on him. It looks like he's trying to escape. Disruptor select. Uh, no, give me a shot on your stern again. It's exactly where you should be. He is firing with his phasers. Now he's going to curl in, so let's select the expanding sphere generator. Kick it on full power. Slow down. All up and select. Oh, please tell me we hit his stern. And then blast him. All weapons. Got him too. Okay. That was interesting. And a lot longer than I wanted it to be. Whew. I suppose that makes up for the almost short episode yesterday. But we did manage to complete the mission, which does help us out quite nicely. Another 334 prestige, putting us up to 2819, and we have promotion to captain. Good job, everybody. We're now captain. Just a super quick glance through here. 3,000, we're at 2819. Uh, nothing, in this, no, nothing in the range that we're looking for. 1,800 was the current cost of our ship, so there's nothing new that's come out quite yet. We'll take a look at the shipyard maybe at another time, but we did manage to take the planet at 6-3. That's very important. This will serve as our primary staging base. And from here, the rest of the Star League shall fall. But anyway, that's, that'll end it for an episode. I've been Derek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon. Leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.